What's up, guys? It's good to see you back here again for the fourth week? Fifth fifth week in a row. F fifth Monday in a row. Doing pretty well. I know I'm going to jinx it one of these days, but we're doing pretty well. I figured I'd make this video about things that I think new computer, new computer science students ought to know, considering many of y'all just got into your first semester of computer science. It's just a little bit of a retrospective from my computer science days. And for all of you people who like to go down to the comments and make a comment and get a bunch of likes on it, going over every little thing that I go over in this video, no need. I hate to take the job from you, but I already did it. So everything is going to be time stamped entitled and if i can get it get, get it going right it's going to be in the scrub bar of youtube where you can just kind of hover over and you can see where i talk about each thing so for starters you need to go in with the mindset of every person in my class are in the same position as me the, maybe some do know a little more of you maybe this is your first introduction into coding and you know literally nothing there's a very slim chance that you are the only person in that position there may be some people who have been coding for years. It doesn't matter. Most of these people are in the same exact position as you. They're in the same exact class as you for a reason. So if you feel like you don't know anything, don't be ashamed. Don't, don't feel ashamed that you don't know anything because you're not supposed to know anything yet. You're here to learn. And the faster you realize that, the more you will learn. In four years, are you going to care what Johnny or Sally thought because you asked a stupid question in class? you're not going to care. They're not going to remember. It doesn't really matter. So the more questions you ask, whether it's stupid or not stupid, ask it. Otherwise, you're never going to learn. You're never going to get the answer to that question. So just, just remember, you're in the same position as everybody else. This one's going to go a little bit against what I've talked about in the past, where I'm like, you want to do your own projects. You want to do this. You want to do that. Focus solely on your coursework. Remember, this video is titled for new computer science students. Focus solely on your coursework. If you're able to, don't have any job, part-time or full-time, don't have any projects going on on the side. And that's the main thing because you have control over that. If you need a job, you need a job. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. I understand that. But if you have the luxury to not have to do anything other than coursework, do that. Because if you're able to just solely focus on coursework, you're going to learn a whole lot more. You know, when I when I was early on in my computer science career, uh, degree rather, I was doing iOS development, I was making websites, learning WordPress, I was doing way too much. And what I've said time and time again is that what you want to do is, you know, pick a vertical and go really high in that vertical. So pick a language, whatever your, your school does, Python, Java, C++, go with that. Look ahead on coursework. I know, watch some of my other videos and I'll give you a little bit more advice, a little bit more useful advice, and I'll, I'll link those up in the eye. Sorry, I got interrupted and I don't know where I left off, but uh, focus solely on your coursework. That's what I'm trying to get at. The next thing I want you to do is drink a lot of coffee. That's what real programmers are made of. You thought I was going to say I'm just joking right now, didn't you? No. The only reason I'm, <laughs> the only reason I'm saying this is because... For those of you, and remember, you can use the scrub bar and skip over this part for all I care, but if you're a potential um, customer of First Supply Coffee, that's my coffee company, I, I have a question for you because I've been trying to figure this out. So I have a few things that I want to add to the lineup. I just don't know which one I want to add to the lineup first, and that's where I need y'all's help. So only if you're a prospective or current customer do I want you to answer this. Otherwise, I mean, you know. Add a dark roast to the lineup, add an espresso blend to the lineup, or start making the Easy River, the current coffee that is available right now, available already ground. Because right now, I'm only offering it in whole beans, and the reason for that is because it stays fresher longer, and a grinder is only like $10 if you want like a handheld one, or you can just, but I want some feedback. So I'm going to put up a poll right here. Dark roast, espresso blend, or also offer my current coffee grounded. So the next actual point is join a club. Sure, you may have other hobbies and whatnot of clubs you may want to join, but I'm, I'm specifically saying join some type of computer science club. Ask your teachers, professors, fellow students that you know have been there for a couple years and ask them, what's a good club to join? I just wanna immerse myself into this whole computer science deal. I wanna figure out a club to join. It doesn't matter if you know nothing. Joining a club will overall help you because it'll be a, a nice little click that you'll be able to be a part of. And you'll be able to ask them questions if you wanna learn. I remember one time when I was in the ACM, we had a whole entire meeting 
going over Git and how to use GitHub. That was useful. So if you find a club that is at your school, join it. I also highly recommend looking out for hackathons. Now this is coming from somebody who never really did a hackathon. I've attended like two, but at the very least, attend the hackathon. Even if you don't know anything, attend the hackathon. And even if you don't know anything, talk to your teacher or something to see if you can get on someone's group for the hackathon, like if you're going to participate in it. Now that's gonna be a little bit more daunting if you feel like you don't know anything or if you actually don't know anything, but it could be a good experience. You just wanna make sure you're straight up with your group or the potential group that you you don't really know anything and that you're just doing this for the experience. So maybe you can just like look over some people's shoulder and maybe they won't want you part of their group, but that's okay. The worst they can say is no. And in the same breath as join a club, just immerse yourself further into the computer science realm. So joining a club will do that and attending or being part of hackathons will also do that. Just go around, talk with people. It'll be, it'll be a good time. If you make it a good time, it'll be a good time. This is probably the most valuable advice that I will give you in this video and that is learn the terminology that your your professor will be speaking. So this, I actually made a few videos on this. Crap, I already linked stuff up in the eye. I'll link it up in the eye as well. It's a computer science terminology and I don't really remember what I went over in that video, but you wanna make sure that you understand what functions and methods and variables and classes are. And that's all coding stuff for those who know absolutely nothing about it. Because there's nothing worse than sitting in class, you really wanna learn what's going on, but your professor's using, oh yeah, this function and this class and this variable, some of those things you may not know about being brand new to coding, or you won't know about being brand new to coding. So you want to make sure, and those are just a few of the the terms that I'm, I'm listing, but it's just you know something off the head. You wanna make sure that you sit down and study those terms. That way you can follow along with your professor and not get lost in the terminology. Because if it's just that like language barrier, if you will, that is keeping you from learning all this stuff, break down the language barrier, learn those terms. And also, I've said this time and time again, don't cram. Another way to, way to, way to say this is don't procrastinate. I'm gonna say don't cram because a lot of your homework in school are gonna be assignments, coding assignments, coding projects. If you cram, that means you procrastinated and the night before you were doing this all at once, you're probably not gonna have a complete program to turn in the next day. You, If you're at all interested in computer science, you've probably been on on some Instagram page or YouTube channel or Reddit, uh, uh, subreddit, whatever it may be, where they joke about not knowing, you know, trying to fix a bug the whole entire day. As a new programmer, doesn't matter how simple your code is, you're probably going to have to face a bug or try to figure out some code that you have no idea what to do. And the only way to solve that is go to the professor. But if you wait, procrastinate, and try to cram the day before the night you have to turn that in, turn in that assignment, you won't be able to have access to the professor. You see what I'm saying? So do your work as early as possible and just spread it out. Enjoy it. You're not going to enjoy it if you do it all in one day, unless you do it early and you just roll with it all in one day. But if you have to do it in that final day, it's not going to be fun. Also, just like with any class, if you cram um, for like an assignment or, or not an assignment, but like homework, uh, an exam rather for an exam or test, you're just not going to learn anything. And the whole point of you being in school is to learn and then get the degree. Learning is first, degree is second. So learn makes sense to me. And bonus tip, this, this goes for anybody in college, don't buy a book unless you know you need that book. There's only been one time where I was in a college course and I bought the book and I never even took the cellophane off the book because I never needed it. Ever since then, I waited until an assignment was, was needed out of the book or I needed that book for one reason or another and then I bought the book or I found it online. I'm not telling you to pirate nothing, but don't buy a book if you don't need to buy a book. They're expensive, so, and that's that's all I got. I, I know there's some more information locked away deep in there somewhere So uh, about computer science and my experience there. I've laid it out even more in other videos, different aspects of it. However, if there's anything specific about computer science, your classes, this and that, leave a comment down below. I'll read all of them, and maybe I can make a video in the, within the next few months, or this semester, hopefully, 
and I can help you out, help someone out. If you see a comment down there that you agree with, then hey, give it a thumbs up. Speaking of thumbs up, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't like it, whatever. Also, subscribe if that's something that you'd like to do. This was a weird video. I don't like these sit down in front anymore. They're nice sometimes, but I really like getting into the code and like next week, hopefully I'll be able to show you my operating system and weird video. All right. Bye.